Let's bring in, in a Fox Business exclusive, Israel's ambassador to the UN, Danny Danone. Welcome, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Liz. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Look, let's start with Hillary Clinton. She's clearly taking aim at Donald Trump's I'm going to be neutral on the Israel Palestinian question stance that he has taken. What did you think of her speech or pitch, as it were? I think all the candidates will come today to APAC and will show their support to Israel, bipartisan support, because it's about the value that we share. We heard the Secretary Clinton will hear all the candidates saying we're standing with Israel. And by the way, it is really amazing to see today thousands of people together, Republicans and Democrats, putting their difficulties aside and say we stand united for Israel. Uh, no, I get it. But does she need to separate herself more clearly from President Obama's policies on Israel? Or are you comfortable with his policies translating over to her? Well, Liz, we have enough politics in Jerusalem, so we will not give grades <laughs> to the politicians here. But okay. I, I can tell you that I appreciate uh, the democracy. You know, I hear many people complain about what's happening now in the U.S. I look at it from an, a different angle. I think we should be proud of the democracy. In the U.N., you don't see so many countries that actually get to elect their leaders. Israel and the U.S., we share the same democracy. It's not comfortable, but it is much better than the alternatives. I know that there are a lot of politics in Israel, but you have a lot of American Jews and Americans who stand by Israel, the one bastion of democracy in the Middle East, who want some guidance, who want to know what Israelis think. Do you have one of the candidates who speaks to you more about supporting Israel than perhaps first, the others? Or who's good? You, don't, you can pick one, two, three. I don't care. All of them. First, I have to tell you that the, the Israelis are following the, the election here. They're watching the debates. They know exactly what's happening here in the U.S. Right. And, and actually, if you run a poll, you would see that there are many of them support the Democrats and the Republicans. But basically, we know that whoever will be elected will stand with Israel because it serves the interest of the United States of America. Well, you've got ISIS. ISIS is rampaging around and through Syria. The Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza Strip are agitating with stabbing attacks. Plus... Ambassador, we have Iran on a, de a daily basis stating its dream to wipe Israel from the pages of history. Which one is Israel's biggest worry right now? I know they all matter, but when I talk to Israelis, they, they tend to feel that Iran is really worrisome right now. Do you feel that same way? For, for the long run, I agree with you, Lee, that Iran is, is a major threat. Only two weeks ago, Iran tested a ballistic missile and they wrote on the missile, they wrote it, by the way, in Hebrew, right. Israel should be wiped out from Earth. Can you imagine that we write the same about the U.S.? And we, we expect the U.N. to condemn those acts of aggression. And we know first they will go after Israel, but eventually they will also go against the Americans and Europeans. Yeah. That is the, the major threat for Israel is still Iran. Can, can the U.N., which has quite frankly, been unfair to Israel on many levels. I mean, they'll, they'll put all kinds of negative comments about Israel and nothing about Syria, for example. Liz, uh, unfair is understatement uh, yeah. for the UN policy. W would you walk out if they don't speak out against that missile, which the Iranians wrote in Hebrew, we should wipe Israel from the face of the earth? Would, would you walk out of the UN at that point? We, we will not walk out because we will be there and we will fight and we will call it the lies of the UN. And when it's biased, we will say they are biased against Israel. But basically, we expect from our allies, the U.S. mainly, which support Israel, some European countries and other friends, to stand with us and not to be quiet. You cannot be quiet because the threat is not only for us. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that's coming back to what Hillary Clinton just said. You cannot be neutral and you cannot be quiet about it. Ambassador, thank you for joining us on the program. Thank please, you very much, Liz. Please come again. Danny Danone is the Israeli ambassador to the United Nations.